Hi guys, so I've had the GPD win for a couple of days now and let me just say that I am bloody well impressed. Um, I was a little bit skeptical at first, you know, thinking something this small with an Intel Latin processor in it, even though it's quad core, you know, it may have some issues running some of my favorite PC games on the Steam network. But I've tried two of them so far, two of my favorites. One is called Grid, it's a racing game. And another one is called Fear, F-E-A-R-3, um, first encounter assault recon, fun, first person shooter game, uh, all from the Steam Network, real PC games, and uh, they run pretty well. I haven't done any tweaking or anything, I just uh, installed the Steam app uh, on my device and I just downloaded my games from my library and they run pretty well. So in this video, uh, I just want to show you how well they run. Um, and another thing too, um, this is again a true version of Windows 10 on here. Um, because of the screen size, I would recommend running Windows 10 in tablet mode. It's easier to navigate. Um, I love the tiles and everything. Um, so, yeah. So, enough said. Let's jump right into the games. So, this is the intro video to Grid. A pretty decent uh, racing game from the Steam Network, and it is a true PC game. Now with these games, as I said, there's a switch right here in the front um, where you can actually put this keyboard and gamepad uh, into different modes. So when it's in the middle, uh, it's mouse mode, and when you're in mouse mode, you actually pretty much, you know, you can move around the the um, icon with the uh, analog nubs, and you can use the buttons to represent mouse clicks. But when you're in gaming mode, um, there are two modes. On the right, we have what looks like an Xbox icon. When you put your uh, switch in that mode, the APIs um, from the game think that it's connected to like an Xbox-like controller. Um, so most modern day games like the high-end PC games on Steam, for example, do run on that type of setting um, where you have a, you know, a high-end uh, gamepad or controller like this one. So I automatically, when I put that uh, switch into that mode, I don't have to map any keys. The game automatically thinks it has a full gamepad, and it actually does. So here it is, right here. Um, so I can start playing right away, which is good. The other key uh, mode on this far inside is when you play with older games uh, that need, like you know, uh, joysticks or you know, game uh, keyboards or whatever. Uh, you can put the switch into that mode, and you can automatically again use your gamepad to run the games. So let me give you a demo of Grid. Now, Grid is a pretty decent. Uh, racing game the graphics are pretty good as well as you're gonna see soon and what surprised me that I you know the frame rate it was smooth just like on my my big my big um, PC so enough talk let's look at the gameplay
So of course I drove a little slower so that I can actually show you me going around the track. You can see that the frame rates, the, the gameplay is smooth. There's no jitter, no lag. The sound is crystal clear. It's lovely. And this is a full PC game that I downloaded from the Steam Network and I'm playing here. That's a replay of my race. So let's go right over to our first person shooter game, um, it's called Fair 3, it stands for First Encounter Assault Recon, and this is the part 3 in the franchise, one of my, one of my favorite, personal favorites uh, for first person shooters.
So that, ladies and gentlemen, is a demo of two games I downloaded from the Steam Network. Um, and as you can see, I didn't do any pre-configuration. Uh, I just make sure that my Switch is in the Xbox 360 mode, I call it, such that it detects the gamepad. And with most PC games, although you have a gamepad, there are still a couple of keys on the keyboard that you can assign for other, other tasks. And that's what I love about PC games, right? There's a lot of different functions, and you have a whole keyboard where you can actually select other things as well. And you have that on here as well. Um, so that was just a quick demo of Steam and two PC games. So I plan to do a number of emulator tests as well, PSP, PS2, um, Dolphin, and uh, you know S Sega, and actually some of the more. Um, uh, and I'm also going to you know test some games that are known to give uh, the PC a bit of run for its money as far as um, resources that are needed are concerned. So I want to see how well the GPD win can hold up. Anyway, so far so good, and. I've honestly had this for a couple of days, and I'll be honest with you, you know, the battery life is pretty good as well. I haven't really uh, run the battery all the way down yet, um, and I've done some gaming um, at lunchtime and stuff at work. Um, but it's a really, uh, I'll say off the bat right now, it's definitely, you know, definitely worth buying if you're into PC gaming and you have a nostalgia for PC games, and you, um, you know, you have games on the Steam Network, this definitely is a, a good buy for you if you want to be on the road as well. And when it comes to productivity, um, you know, you don't, if you don't want to use your keyboard, what's so good about these um, GPD wins is that, yeah, you have all these ports on the back. But what I find is a very, very important port, and I love it. They have a full USB uh, port in the back, so, you know, you can actually connect a little uh, mini USB um, um, dongle in the back and have your, you know, wireless... Um, keyboard and wireless mouse hooked up and you can use this for actual work purposes and if you want a bigger screen you know there's the uh, um, mini HDMI out port so you can connect to a large screen television or monitor so that's just, uh, one of many videos that are coming out on the GPD win another one I just decided to do uh, to show you how well because when I did get the GPD when I wanted to, I asked myself, how well does it play like typical Steam games, right? Is it going to be one of those things where it only plays like low-end DOS Windows games? And my answer, I got my answer pretty quickly. So yeah, these guys definitely did put some work into this little device. So over the next couple of days, I will be testing more things. And as I do test, I will post my videos. So don't forget to like if you like this video. And definitely subscribe because there's a lot more fun where this came from. Okay, take care for now. This is Richie signing off. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Now I'm going to ask you to do two things before you leave. One, there's a button right up here on the screen to my right here. Click on that, and that will take you to our website, www.redtechbot.com. When you get on that site, there will be a button there where you can actually sign up for our newsletter. And when you do sign up for our newsletter by entering in your email address, you will automatically be entered into all of our tech giveaways. And by tech giveaways, these are some typical examples of what we will be giving away. Uh, and these are some examples. There's other stuff as well. Um, and the good news is, you're, you know, you just have to enter your email address once, and you know, it will automatically be entered into the pool every time we do a draw. Um, and we will use that email address, of course, to, to contact the winner to tell them, hey, you've won something. Um, and you know it's it's uh, it's really cool, and of course the newsletter will have you know you know updates on tech reviews, what's coming up new, uh, you know what's coming up next, um, you know new stuff uh, in the industry, and even information on on future giveaways, right? So it's really a really really nice newsletter that we're going to be uh, uh, sending out. And one other thing is on this side on the screen here up here, on my left. Uh, you click on that and you will subscribe to the channel. Now by subscribing, of course, you will be you know, at the forefront of any new things that are happening, any new videos that are coming out. Um, and what I will also be doing is I'll be doing videos where I'll be talking about what we're going to be doing as a next giveaway, right? So you want to be you know, subscribed, tuned in to that as well. So it's going to be a fun year and fun years to come as well. So yeah, that being said, you guys have a great day.